Getting started as an angel investor is easy, but doing it the right way requires a little help. The first thing you'll need to establish is your status as an accredited investor. This SEC requirement means you have at least $1 million in assets, excluding your primary residence, or have earned at least $200,000 annually for two out of the last three years. If you meet either of these criteria, you're on your way to becoming an angel investor. The next thing you need to consider is where you'll find companies to invest in, known as deal flow. The quality of your deal flow is a key differentiator between investing success and failure. Because most people don't have the time and energy to meet with, advise, and evaluate startups full-time, they rely on a membership network like 1000 Angels to do that work for them. Getting deal flow requires investing thousands of hours of time and years of relationship building to get access to great opportunities. At 1000 Angels, our expertise is doing this work for our angel investors. Once you establish membership, you can start to establish your investment objectives, such as how much money should I allocate to early stage investments? What kind of returns should I expect for my portfolio? What kind of equity is best for me to invest in? Are there particular sectors that I'm bullish on? Is social impact a factor in my investment decisions? Stay tuned because we'll be covering these topics and more in our weekly video series on getting started angel investing with 1000 Angels. Thanks.